Hey, what is up, guys? It is URS here, bringing you day five of the Money Making Marathon. Remember, if you like this video and you want the series to continue, please hit that like button. Do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Now, I know you guys don't want me to blabble all that nonsense, so let's get started in the guide. Now, the only requirements for this guide is a decent HP level and an anti dragonfire shield. Now, some highly recommended items are either the Bull Out Pouch and its scrolls or the Terrible terror bird um, and its tireless run scrolls now if you do not have 70 agility to pass through the pipe you're going to need a brass key and you're going to have to run around so another useful thing is to have falador tablets here's the falador tablet and 16 dungeoneering to enter the resource dungeon another useful thing is 98 combat so you don't get attacked by the blue dragons Okay, so you just want to follow this route, you're just going to point your mouse cursor north, and you're just going to have to run over here. And you're going to need 5 agility to come to climb over the crumbling wall. <coughs> and you might be wondering why I have the summer pie in my inventory, is because um, I have 6-7 agility. So I can just fight. And if you don't want to use summer pie, you can use an agility potion. So just keep on running north, 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 north. Ooh. What? <laughs> wow. All right. He would be there. All right. So now this is the way. If you do not have the brass key, you're gonna have to run around and then just open that. Oh, you're gonna have to go around here, 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 here. Yeah. And then you just. Hey, what is up, guys? Sorry about that. My fraps um, messed up, so you can not really see the map, but you just want to go around the whole Taverly Dungeon. That's why you get 70 agility. <laughs> Alright, so you just want to eat your summer pie if you don't have the level. It boosts, I think, 6. Yes, 6. Oh, no, 5, 5. Fail math. Now, you might be hit by the blue dragons because they're newbie but you just want to pick up your blue dragon scales I think there's a spawn of five in here hmm let's see yes there's five one two three four and then where's the fifth oh what a noob oh here's the fifth here's the fifth alright now if you don't want noobs like them bothering you you just want to go through this mysterious entrance which that's the 60 dungeoneering requirement and here you go there's a lot of bots here so you won't have to really mind about um anybody <coughs> any of the dragons attacking you so I think there's a spawn of six here if I'm correct nope not six dang there's a lot in here so I highly recommend using the 60 dungeoneering requirement and yeah so <clears throat> if you have a low agility you're probably gonna need to use your talus run scrolls but I'll be back when I have a full inventory alright hey what is up guys I am back so let me just deposit these um, blue dragon scales now what you're gonna wanna do is have a pestle and motor motor however you say it and then just grind them into blue dragon scale dust because you make a hefty profit I think it's a hundred GP more per thing so it's well worth it to um, grind them into dust because I think it's used as a secondary ingredient for a herbal or potion but yes this method is an extreme money maker at almost 900k per hour but guys remember to thumbs it up and if we get five likes five likes then we will have an awesome money making guide but you know the last time you didn't get five likes within the 24 hours so let's try again this time hope you guys enjoy just kidding you thought I was gonna end it haha -ha.
No, I'm going to show you guys the profit. Okay, let's see. And that only took me, what, like two minutes? <laughs> Alright, see you guys later.